and you know, it's such a reminder, I think, of all of us, and it's just, it's really a pleasure to sit and listen to all of our work, and it, I think it really shows how we complement each other, and we mm -hmm. work so well together, and we have our niches. I really don't think there's a lot of duplication in our services, really, because no. I think that's a concern to donors, and, and, and really, I think our community really does a nice job of that. There's not a lot of duplication, and the nonprofits work really well together, so I just comment about that, and, and that's pretty special, I think, mm -hmm. for our community. But one thing I forgot to mention, one of our core programs, and, it, and it's really an all-around need, we do foster care and adoption work. You know, unfortunately, some of the kids that come to us can't go back home, you know, to their birth families. Mm -hmm. So that's just an all-around need, and it's a very unique thing that someone would take, you know, children into their home. And, and we're not doing infant adoptions, and these are kids who've had some trauma and some issues, and they're older kids and have special challenges. So, so we're always just wanting to share that, that if anybody has any interest in consideration of a foster care adoption, we're very involved in that, and of course, partnering with the state of South Dakota, the Department of Social Services. So that's really an ongoing need, but mm -hmm. but you think of it at Christmas time, and we will have kids that will have no home to go to over Christmas and the holidays, and, and children's home will be their home, mm -hmm. which kind of relates to one of the things we're doing right now is we're setting up our North Pole, and, and we'll have a lot of donors who'll be helping us have a nice Christmas for the kids. And, and thankfully there's so much giving throughout the year, but especially this time of year. Mm -hmm. So it's a great opportunity. Not only will we do, be doing Christmas presents for the kids and they'll get some new pajamas and a blanket, and, but it's kind of a time where we restock the shelves. Yeah. You know, we have all our residential units, we have all our classrooms and our art department, our music department and our gym. And you know, we have the children's in facility and the Sioux Falls Children's Home. So we have a lot of needs. Um, you can think of anything you need for, for kids and families and in a residential facility. So we have a, a wish list and, and people can go to our website and we actually have wi wish lists for the Children's Inn facility and the Sioux Falls Children's Home and the Black Hills Children's Home. So if anybody wanna kind of go out and look at kind of tangible items and needs, they'd be on our website, which is uh, www.chssd.org for Children's Home Society, South Dakota. So you can go on there and find the support option and find wish lists. So that's something we really, we do all year long, we kind of have our year long wish list, then we do our Christmas wishes. So that's on there right now. And then just financial support, you know, I think like all nonprofits, you know, I don't know of any nonprofit that, you know, we most places get some government funding, uh -huh. but it's limited. And yeah. that's certainly the case for us that we really work to find all the government funding we can get from city, county, state, federal. But the reality is it, we just need the charitable support. In our case, our budget, we have about 330 staff, our budget's a little over $24 million, and about a third of that has to come from charitable support. So just a great need just to keep everything going, and we're mostly staff-driven. Mm -hmm. I mean, the nature of our work, it's staff, working with the kids and the women and the families, and it's, especially when it's 24-hour care. So if anybody is just interested in making a donation, just to support the work, um, we would just certainly appreciate that. And people, again, can go to our website and find that donate button and assist in that way, that, that's probably one of our greatest needs really is just support to run the programs. And everybody knows we're all challenged with staffing uh -huh. and we're all so challenged to keep up with, with wages in today's world yeah. and, it, and it's, it's tough. Today we have 62 beds at residential treatment in Sioux Falls Children's Home and we have three open beds and we have I think four kids waiting to come in uh -huh. on a waiting list, but we don't have enough staff. So those kids are waiting even though the beds are sitting there empty. And, and really, it's sure. just it takes the resources to have competitive wages, really. Right. So if people would help a donation, you know, really they're helping kids get in and get the help mm -hmm. they need. So those would be some of the, the key things um, going on right now.